Step 1. Rub off. When you paint the moving parts of your customs like the arms and legs, the paint rubs off from moving it over a period of time. You should consider using a nail file or sandpaper to leave enough room for the paint to stay on. Step 2. Materials. Materials are important. After all, they make the figure a custom. You'll want to use acrylic paints like Golden, Apple Barrel, or Citadel, and clay like Green Stuff, Super Sculpey, and glue like Gorilla Glue. Step 3. Fine Detail. The second thing that makes the figure look good is the fine, small detail. I'm able to paint words, facial expressions, and more on my figures using a toothpick. You can also use a small screwdriver or a needle. Step 4. Sculpting. Using the materials I stated before, sculpting isn't a really tedious process at this scale. Sure, you need to make all these bumps and indentations to match the character, but making all these details may be too small to notice and more likely to break. So if I want my sculpt to have eyebrows, then I paint it on instead. Step 5. Patience. If you want to be part of this community, you must own a lot of patience. I don't keep track of time when I make my figures, but by estimation it took me around 5 hours of work combined to make a figure like Nightmare Chica, and more or less for other figures based on their complexity. With some more patience, you just might earn yourself 600 subscribers along the way. Thank you all for letting me achieve this, and I hope I can inspire you and entertain you for the days to come. With that, I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be very, very soon, and goodbye.